it's Miss Pritzel at the Appleton West Library, and I'm going to talk really fast because there's so much to say about this awesome book. So it is called Invisible Sun, and it is by Kim Johnson, who wrote This is My America, but our main character, Andre, uh, short Dre for short, he has my heart. He totally captured me in this book, and yeah, I'm sorry. This is my favorite of hers, and I would recommend this to people who like uh, Hate You Give. That's that's how strongly I feel about this book. All right, so Dre is our main character, and he's just come out of two months in juvenile detention, which you could say scared him straight, except we know that Dre did not do the crime. We also know that Dre is in a monitoring program throughout this entire book, so he has an ankle bracelet. Uh, he has a lot of restrictions on where he can go and, you know, when he can go. Um, he has to do community service, all these things. So we got a racial uh, justice issue. Um, we have the issue of the fact that Dre is staying with his grandparents, which he does a lot. His parents are uh, alive and they live in an apartment, but he's stayed with his grandparents a lot and they just, for his monitoring program, they feel like that's the better placement for him. Um, it's also kind of the place he got in trouble because this is a community where his grandparents live used to be like an basically everybody in the community was African American or color and now it's been I think gentrified is the word uh, so like most of the people nearly all the people of color have been pushed out of the neighborhood and now wealthy white people are own the houses and have remodeled and done all this stuff so his next door neighbors are uh, white and they have two, I believe they're, they're biological children. And then they've adopted two siblings who are African American who spent many, many years in the foster care system. And they've also adopted, uh, that's Sienna and Eric. And then they've also adopted Luis, who is Hispanic. And his pa he, was, he had been homeless and in the foster care system because his parents had been deported. Uh, he stayed because he had been born in the United States. So um, there's just so much in this. I feel like th while there's not a trigger warning, probably because this is a big plot point in the book, uh, and it's not like it's a secret, um, it takes place like he is just getting out when the first cases of COVID are starting to happen in the United States, but they're seeing all the stuff that's going on in other countries in the world and Italy shutting down and things like that. So some people may not be prepared to go back there. I was a little hesitant myself. Um, but the author, Kim Johnson, really felt, sh I have to show how this impacted communities of color so much more than it did um, other communities. And it, it really does impact Dre and his family financially and health-wise. Did I say Eric did not commit the crime that he was in, that he's being punished for? <laughs> uh, Dre did not commit it. We know Eric did, but Eric has disappeared. Everybody thinks he's run away, but he... Mm, we, as the more we find out, the more we start to question that. Um, and then, of course, if, if you think about the pandemic, we had the killing of George Floyd and a number of other people and things that made the news in the Black Lives Matter protest. And this is taking place in Portland, Oregon, where they had a lot of agitators trying to turn the Black Lives Pro Matters protests into riots. And the governor and the mayor were like, we're not going to get involved. This is peaceful. And other pe some other people in the higher federal government were like, no, we're going to bring in federal troops, blah, blah, blah. So Dre is pictured here with headphones because he has his own YouTube channel where they kind of like uh, look at music and all kinds of music. I loved that. Like he's like listening to a Phil Collins song at one point. Um, and his YouTube channel is super important in the last scenes of the book. So I cannot say enough about this book. I, wow, for the time that I was reading this book, I was walking in Dre's shoes. I have not lived Dre's life. I obviously clearly will never live Dre's life. Um, but I felt... I, I felt that empathy for him as I was reading this book. I, just the way she wrote it and, and the way, like, I felt like Dre was speaking to me in, when I was reading this book. So I highly recommend this if you would like realistic fiction. Like I said, I'd recommend this to people who like uh, Hate You Give. Uh, similar but different, also different themes. Um, just, yeah. Uh, if this is not your cup of tea, I'll help you find something else. Uh, otherwise, awesome book, definitely five stars, which I don't give out too often. 
Uh, all right. Have a fantastic day and keep on reading.